a match made in heaven and detailed in the Bible, the Masha and Roni story. Let us examine five verses in the Bible with the shortest equidistant letter code for the term to the wedding. The other terms are with significant odds against being there. Even more surprising is that they are presented in chronological sequence where each new term explains further the wedding story. The verses are found in the book of Leviticus, chapter 6, verses 16 to 20. We begin with, the Masha, with Masha's nickname as defined in the codes as E.M. M. The story begins when she is still a bride. The subjects of this presentation are Masha and Roni. We start with Masha. The code says, M is a bride. Within the term M Kala, or M is a bride, we find the term Hashem's giving. Note that the first and last letters of both terms are the same. There is a hint here that Hashem is giving M as a bride. We will soon see who is M and who Hashem is giving M to. Verse 17 clarifies that M is Masha. Masha appears from left to right. And from right to left, where the letter Shin is shared by both Masha terms. Annex A will show more ways that verse 17 clarifies that M is Masha. The other subject in the presentation is Roni. Roni Hatana or Roni her groom. Roni the groom is before the Lord, the Holy of Holies, is he. In the content of this wedding story, the groom is about to take the most holy vows before Hashem, according to Moshe and the children of Israel. However, Masha is also right there with him before Hashem, according to the teachings of Moses and the children of Israel. Masha, Hashem is for her. We just saw that they are both before Hashem. Within the name of Hashem, the letter He that represents Hashem connects the term Masha with her groom and before Hashem. But there is more. They are there before Hashem, but Hashem is there for them. Hashem, He is there. Both terms that we just saw complement each other. Masha, Hashem is for her. Hashem, He is there. Note that both terms are made up from the same letters read in opposite directions. The letter sequences below are interwoven with the underlined statement in black. Before Hashem, it is the most holy. The Holy One is at the holy occasion of the wedding of Masha and Roni. Note that this is the first time, number one occasion, where two terms with the same letters are read in opposite direction, giving two different meanings. We have several more such occasions. There seems to be a message to Masha and Roni. For now, let us look at Masha in this verse. And Hashem spoke to Masha, or And Hashem spoke first to Masha. Not that Masha appears first in the story, and it specifically indicates that Hashem spoke to Masha and then to Roni. However, just as to Masha is very clear, to Roni is also very clear. If we look at verses 17 and 18, we get, And Hashem spoke to Masha, to Roni. So we have here messages to Masha the bride, and to Roni her groom. We can now understand the first two terms, Hashem's giving, 
which was interwoven with the term M a bride. Who is Hashem, the matchmaker, is giving M the bride to? The last two new terms give us the answer. To Roni, her, her groom. We can see that there is a relation here between Masha as the bride and Roni as her groom. We already saw that Hashem is giving Masha the bride to Roni the groom. However, Roni has to A. Agree, B. Accept, and C. Take. But first he has to be instructed. Annex B gives much detail on such terms as 1. A simple binding instruction to Roni and 2. Take Masha for a wife and more. But there are more interwoven terms with those two terms where one is read from left to right and the other from right to left. Annex B will show much more information on the six letters that can be read from left to right and from right to left. In summary, what the message we are given is a simple binding instruction, Roni. Take M, Masha, for a wife. If you will take her, Masha will take you. This is the truth. Take. And if you will take, there will be the good luck. Moreover, of their good fortune will be their happiness. We can see it as their happiness or the happiness of Masha. In the term the happiness of Masha, the letter M is the same M which is in the term take Masha for a wife. In both cases, the M represents Masha. In several cases, Hashem emphasizes Masha as opposed to Roni. Hashem addresses Masha first, lady first. Hashem is therefore Masha, the happiness of Masha. Masha has the good luck. Note how the terms take Masha for a wife, the good luck, their happiness, all are interwoven between the two terms, Roni and her group. And that verse 18 starts with the term Roni and ends with the term Masha. It is all about Roni and Masha. The good luck is dependent on a holy matrimony. Before Hashem, holy of the holy, He is. The story culminates with powerful terms in verse 19. Annex C gives the details. Before examining the messages in these terms, let us appreciate the unusual presentation of these terms and the great odds against such presentations to take place. We already seen two terms that can be read in both directions, giving different but complementary information. Let us look at three such long terms. This long term includes the word wedding in the, in the direction we are looking at now. It appears in its lowest skip in the Bible. When we expand the term to its 14 letters, the odds of finding it in the Bible are astronomical. The term states, belonging to the wedding is the taste of Masha. In the opposite direction we can read, Hashem's strength is here. Start. Get married. Note that both terms complement each other. The purple term states, from left to right, Hashem belongs to the wedding. And from right to left, Hashem's strength is here. It is His doing. The term, the Mr. Shak, is part of Roni's email for a long time. More important, the term, the Mr. Shak, is very prominent within the term belongs to the wedding. When we read the Mr. Shak in the opposite direction, we get a connection from Hashem or connected Masha Hashem. Hashem connected both Masha and Roni.
a remarkable connection between reading the letters in opposite directions and even more so when this letter sequence interwines with the longer sequence of specifying that these connections with the Mr. Shack belongs to the wedding. 1. To the Mr. Shack connected Hashem and to the wedding. And 2. The Mr. Shack tied Ronnie and Masha Hashem and to the wedding. And the Mr. Shack a connection from Hashem to Masha and the wedding. And now that Mr. Shack appears in the wedding, it is time to declare that Ronnie is Masha's husband. Both long letter sequences complement each other. The four terms with the multiple variations complement one another. The term the husband of M, Masha, interwines with those two letter sequences. The names Masha and Mr. Shack are part of the letter sequences. All those factors within 70 text letters make a most remarkable testimony that now Mr. Shack, that was earlier defined as Ronnie the groom, is now the husband of Masha, that was earlier defined a bride. Furthermore, part of the statements made here are that the presence of Hashem and his hand in the connection is part of the wedding. And how was the wedding concluded? Established with a yes to you in a holy place. At a place of the holy matrimony ceremony, the marriage will be established by confirmation of a yes to one another. In Annex A, we see that verse 17 shows that Masha is M. We saw it in verse 16 and we will see it in other verses to follow. The verse starts specifying Masha's name. And Hashem spoke to Masha. It can also be read with a different spelling as And Hashem spoke to Masha. The longer version of the same verse confirms that Masha is being referred to as M. And Hashem spoke to Masha, to M, i.e. Masha is M. Another hint that Masha is M is found in the words that connect Masha to M. The code indicates that there is a conversion of Masha to M. M is used as a short version to Masha in the codes. Masha to M. The other connection is the word hello, which means is it not, or indeed, which connects Masha and to M. The letters that are circled are the last letter for Masha and the first letter for M. These are also the first letters for is it not or indeed in black. This gives us Masha, indeed, M. We can also read it as And Hashem spoke to Masha, to M, and R, where R is Roni. We can also read it as And Hashem spoke to Masha Sorkin. Here is the mystery. In verse 16, within M a bride, we have the term given by Hashem. One of the interpretations for this term is here. Hashem, the matchmaker, is giving Masha an unspecified mystery. This mystery will be defined at a later verse. A similar but a different version of what we saw before is And Hashem spoke to Masha Sorkin Here are M and R. A clue to who this mystery is. Masha will no longer be a single M, but rather a family unit of M and R, Masha and Roni. In Annex B, verse 18, comes the directive to Roni in green, Take M. And there is a promise associated to Roni for taking M, Masha. Note that the same word can say two different things. If you will take. 
And there is another promise to Roni for taking M, Masha, for a wife. Note that the same word spelling can mean two different things. M is Masha, or Im is If. We now change the letter spacing as shown, and we get, it is true, take. However, these five letters, when read in the opposite direction, reveal much more when read from right to left, instead from left to right. Let us look first only at the four of the five letters. Roni is now being told that he is given a simple binding instruction. If we extend the sequence further we get, this gives us the new term, a simple binding instruction R, or Roni. The new term confirms that the instruction to take M is directed to R. In the spirit of M is Masha, R is Roni. In both cases, the first letter of the given name is used as the nickname. The six letters may say the following in summary. A simple binding instruction, Roni. Take M, take Masha for a wife. If you will take her, M, Masha, will take you. This is the truth. Let's look now at Annex C, page 1 where it start to address terms in verses 18 to 20. The first term says, belongs to the wedding to Masha's taste. The Mr. Shak, the husband of M, belongs to the wedding. Hashem's power is here. Get started. With M, get up and sanctify, and sanctify M in a holy place, and she is sanctified, and he is sanctified. A connection from Hashem. Hashem tied them together, established with a yes, I do, to you. Where? Where? In a holy place.